going to make a really hearty, spicy shellfish soup. And it's so easy to make, and it starts off with one simple ingredient. I've got some chorizo sausage, and it's that Spanish sausage packed with paprika and all those wonderful spices. And it creates a really great base for this shellfish soup. So just get this up to a nice temperature, and then just fry that off. And while that's frying, what I'm going to do is prepare the base of this soup. I've got some fennel and some celery and some onions. So I'm just going to prepare the fennel. Just slice it down the center. So just take off the tops like that. Just finely slice it like this, and you get those little strands of fennel to create the soup. So that's my fennel. And now I've got a few stalks of celery. So just one or two. Should do it perfectly. And just take off the ends. And then just give these basically a nice fine slice. Now, if you don't have all these ingredients, it's not the end of the world. A base of simple the sh simply the chorizo and the onion is fine, but these extra ingredients just are really going to make a difference when you make this soup up. So in with our chorizo, it's looking beautifully sizzling and all those oils have come out. So what I'm going to do is grab a slotted spoon and just transfer these out onto a plate. Leaving the oils in there, we're going to take out this meat and then we're going to use that oil to fry off our vegetables. So setting that aside, and then straight in with all those wonderful vegetables. We've got our celery going in, we've got our fennel going in, and then some finely chopped onion in here as well. And instantly that goes in alongside all those oils. You get these wonderful, great base flavors. And when these are softened down, what we have is a beautiful base for a soup and all those other ingredients. So while these are softening down, I'm just going to season it up with a little bit of black pepper and some sea salt. And it's good to add your seasoning as you go on and taste it all the while you do it so that you know what your seasoning is in your soup. My veggies have now become really nice and tender and the waft of smell I'm getting now is that beautiful anise from the fennel, all those wonderful ingredients. And now what I need to do is add a little bit of white wine. The white wine in here is going to bubble away and sizzle. So a good kind of glass of white wine going in here and a bit, and we let that sizzle away, and just bring it up to temperature. What you want to do is kind of cook off that alcohol a little bit, and then in alongside this, we're going to add in two tins of chopped tomatoes. They go in. A little bit of tomato puree, just to intensify that tomato in there, and the tomato puree, it's about a tablespoon going in here. Mix that through. And then in amongst the liquid, I'm going to add a bay leaf. So one bay leaf goes in there, mix that through. And then in alongside this, I'm going to add some finely chopped chili for that extra bit of heat and some garlic in here as well. So just add them straight in. And you don't need to fry these off. They're, we're just looking for the flavor from them. So just mix them through. My tomato mixture has now been simmering. It's reduced a little bit and it's intensified in its flavor. So what I'm going to do now is add in some fish stock and bring that up to the boil. So potatoes go in, and we're just going to bring them up to temperature. My potatoes have been cooking away for about 10 minutes, so I'm just going to pierce them with a fork, and as you can see, they've gone through beautifully. So I'm going to add in the rest of our ingredients. The chorizo goes straight back in, all that lovely bit of meat, and then our prawns and some mussels in here. You could use some fish in here, you could use normal white fish, or you could use chicken. It's really up to you. What you have here is a really great base. So the mussels go straight in. Make sure your mussels are nice and clean. And then your prawns go in. And just give them a quick stir through. And literally, they take about two or three minutes to cook through. You'll know when your mussels are cooked when they open, and your prawns will be quite kind of orangey. They won't look this kind of translucent pink at the moment. So just stick on a lid and then leave that for about two or three minutes and this will be ready to serve. My soup has been cooking off and as you can see, those mussels have opened and the prawns look really, really tasty. So what I'm gonna do is just grab a good bit of flat leaf parsley and then just roll this up into a nice little ball and give it a nice fine chop. And that little bit of parsley, that extra touch of freshness over the top of this soup is just gonna be really incredible. So I have some crusty bread and it's the best way to serve it, just with a big lump of crusty bread on the side. Nothing better than that. And then I'm just going to serve it up with a big ladle like this. 
get all those prawns, those potatoes, those little bits of chorizo in there. There you go, a really beautiful soup. Perfect for any time of the year, but it's great comfort food in the winter. And all you need to do is dig in with a little bit of crusty bread, some of that parsley served over the top. There you go, a beautiful little spicy seafood soup. I hope you're gonna love it.